So it's been a little while since I last posted an update on the LiDAR scanner, but I did make some reasonable progress and I think I reached a point where I'm happy with an XY scanner and kind of this is it. So at the moment it's just running in kind of just rotation mode, it's not kind of going up and down. But you can see I've switched over to kind of a timing belt from toothed gears and it is significantly quieter. The kind of noise that the other one was generating is kind of almost entirely gone. This one runs very smooth in comparison. And if I connect up the servo, you can see the height change. When I decided to switch over to a timing belt, I started out with this one. It's a much kind of finer pitch. I think this is a two mil kind of separation, whereas that one's five, but the 3D printer I've got was not really capable of printing a gear that could run with this. It kind of got close, but it wasn't quite right. Um, whereas this one, it prints perfectly. I've got some really nice gears in here, and this one does the job really well. A lot of this is the same from last time. The LiDAR mount on the top is the same, although it's fitted onto a base plate with, uh, to suit the belt rather than just a gear. This has got a press fit kind of connection on top of the stepper motor again. There's a reflectance sensor in here to detect a white spot on the gear for locating it. And obviously there's a small servo in here, which kind of controls the height. One of the problems I encountered was the speed at which you can complete a scanning cycle. It's running fairly fast at the moment, but it still takes a little while to rotate. And so I've had to reduce the resolution of the kind of height adjustment here down to I think only about five or six positions, simply because it was taking too long to do a full kind of uh, rotation for each layer. There's one interesting quirk in the way it's functioning at the moment. You might notice it's uh, jumping around a little bit. And this is because on each cycle as it goes around, the LiDAR sensor requires a more in-depth scan. So normally the scans are incredibly quick, but every now and again you have to do a more detailed scan in order to kind of deal with um, calibration issues. And because it's designed to rotate a little bit, do a scan, rotate, do a scan, on each rotation there is this slight pause which results in this jerky kind of rotation, rotating motion, which is slightly disappointing. If I reset the power, it goes into its initial seeking mode, where it just runs smoothly, and you can see how smooth that is. The electronics on the back of this thing are really quite simple. I've got the same kind of uh, Palulu stepper motor driver as before, but next to it I've switched down to an Arduino Pro Mini from the Teensy I was using, which is far more suited to what it's doing. Um, there, there's also a five volt voltage regulator along the side, so I can feed in kind of 12 volts or thereabouts and get the five volts I need for the electronics. The motor kind of plugs in the slip ring for the LiDAR sensor, the servo, which will be kind of going on the next revision, and the reflectance sensor for locating. You can see there's, very, there's really not much to it. So despite my success with this, and I am happy with the operation, I think I could easily get a reasonable amount of kind of, kind of height, kind of scanning range from this in its current form. I'm not gonna keep it like this. I'm gonna get rid of the kind of height adjustment on here. For its intended use, which is scanning for obstacles on my robotic platform, it will be nice, but I don't need it. And the, the negative issue with uh, height adjustment and the, the time it takes to complete a full scan is not worth kind of dealing with this. So what I'm gonna do is scrap this kind of bottom layer here and redesign this top platform a little bit to mount onto the frame. That way the rotation of the whole platform system will be a lot simpler.